Okay team, I've, I've done a lot, of, a lot of thinking about this and a lot of soul searching and I've decided that um, we're going to use a piece of bronze uh, in, the, um, in this fork section rather than uh, turkite or uh, any of the other materials for two reasons. A, a I've got some bronze here um, and, and secondly I, I think at the end um, turkite or, or, or um, the other plastic material um, uh, roulon uh, probably is not uh, well suited for for high impact loadings and and, and in this fork of course we've got uh, when we've, we've got a fork section like that with a with a round pin in it and so the uh, the, the the bearing surface between the pin uh, and the fork uh, is going to be a, a, a point loading and so uh, we're going to have fairly high uh, forces where where it's touching it, and, and the, I mean the the Scotch yoke is doing this, but at any one point the uh, the loading is quite high. So we'll come in a bit closer, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Right. So uh, so here's the here's the fork. Um, we've got uh, we've got a little bit of wear on that side, and similar wear on this side. The uh, the pin itself is. 31.47 so the pin dimension is 31.47 and the um, the dimension in here is 32.25 thereabouts so uh, we've got almost 0.75 of a, of a millimeter um, excess clearance in here which uh, is far too much and that's where my clonk or where one of the clonk is um, coming from I'm sure so I've got uh, some uh, some aluminium bronze here, which is about eight millimetres thick, so miles too thick. But we'll machine that down. And so what I'm going to do is run the mill down here till we end up with a flat surface, and then mill away on this side uh, around about uh, three millimetres, uh, and then glue a piece of bronze in here now when I say glue with a uh, with a very good epoxy um, so I'll machine up the bronze first to oversize and then um, clean up these surfaces and we'll go through all of that I've been doing a lot of reading with about epoxies and um, then we'll glue it in position and then we'll mill the uh, we'll mill the bronze until we end up with minimal clearance between here and the pin. Now in order to check the clearance I'm going to turn up on the lathe a dummy pin so I'm going to turn up a, a steel pin uh, of the same dimension as the pin in the mill uh, sorry in the uh, shaper and then I'm going to use that dummy pin to check my clearances. So first thing let's uh, machine that surface there Enough. We only just have enough travel, fortunately. Oh, for a horrible minute, we're going to uh, end up with uh, end up having to move this on the table, but not the case. I'll get rid of my micrometer. We'll get rid of the calipers. We'll get rid of that spanner. So on this far side, um, I'm only going to put bronze on one side of this, by the way, because there's no need to, uh, no need to do both sides. Right, so we've machined that side. It's looking and feeling very nice, and we're going to take. Um, 1.5 mils millimeters off this side and we're doing a 0.25 millimeter cut at the moment.
point too far. Now I'm doing some fine milling here, but we're taking pretty small cuts and it is cast iron and it's cutting very nicely, so I'm not too worried about the fine milling. And in fact, it seems to give us a better surface anyway. This is our uh, homemade power feed. gearbox here out of a World War II radio, a British military ZC-1 I think, from memory. Uh, there's a, a series motor down the back which is speed controlled by the Fox of Electronics. Uh, we've got a, a pulley there and there's a little dog arrangement here for engaging the um, power feed. wasn't wide, the small vice wasn't wide enough to take the bit of bronze and the large vice was too big to fit on the table so life's not easy in the first lane
Okay, well I've, I've cleaned the surface <coughs> thoroughly with brake cleaner, several applications and clean paper. I've done the same with the piece of bronze. This is DEVCON. I've done quite a bit of research into various adhesives and the more I read the more confused I get. Uh, I have not yet found a, a properly scientifically done um, study. So we're just going with, with what I've got which is DEVCON. So this is the, uh, the piece of bronze and I've scraped it until it's pretty close to being flat which took about an hour I've um, and then scored it with uh, 100 grit paper I don't know whether you can see the scoring on it but it's quite markedly scratched and I've done the same with that surface there so now we are going to apply the, um, the DEFCON without touching the surface with greasy fingers Now, yeah, the object, according to the what I've read, is to end up with a a layer, and I can't remember the thickness of the layer, but it does. The article I read does give you a thickness in microns. Uh, in other words, the layer can be too thin. So we're going to coat the entire surface. Carefully not touching the surface with my fingers. And I'm going to do the same with this surface here if I can. That's a bit difficult to see. And for some reason my light isn't working. Oh, that's because it's turned off. To, to wet the surface if you like. You don't need any extra adhesive but it's important not to have any air voids in here. Now believe me I have cleaned this surface pretty well. With uh, brake cleaner. Right, we're now going to apply the plate. Multitude of rubber bands around it to um, to keep a constant pressure. And they should keep it centralised as well. With a bit of luck. I have got some video of the machining 